Hi right, guys, so I, uh, I've just been down here to put a couple of bottles of drink because I forgot. But there used to be me beating a couple of times a day because I always forget something. Oh, I nearly ran into somebody. Sorry, mate. Fuck, that was close. I don't know who shit himself more. Me or him. I didn't even see him. Alright, what I say? Yeah, I was down here uh, getting a couple of bottles of drink. And uh, we had a. My wife had a phone call today. And it's better. Blake, come female, come bloke, whatever. And he was a young man by a long shot. He was, um, he was as old as me. But um, he was a cross dresser. Uh, he, his mother passed away 12, 18 months ago, I suppose, to him. Well, at any rate, we got a bit of a phone call that uh, there's a rumour that he passed away. So my wife jumps on the blower and uh, makes a phone call. And they sort of went back. ASAP as soon as they find out what's going on. At any rate, phone rings back, and I'm only talking for half an hour ago. Yes, this per particular person, no names, no court marshals, there's no pack for all the rest of that shit. Yes, had passed away. And had been dead for one month. Nobody had well, she'd been dead for one month and they only just found the last Friday. She owned three dogs, one of them was dead. And the other two had to be put down. Now I don't know exactly how close the neighbours were to her house, I wouldn't have a clue. She lived in the next town south of us. city now compared to what it was when I was young I lived in Sydney. And she she'd been dead a week when someone actually checked up on her and she was sitting on the toilet. And it was this time of year as well. And I don't think I would have liked to have been the person, the police, the Ambo or anybody else found her. We've had one hell of a hot summer. We've had days but day after day after day it's been in the 40s and just this last week I don't think we've had a day or under not many days under, under 30 but a lot over 30 it just upsets you to um, to think that, uh, maybe because of the way he, he was you know because he was a cross dresser very friendly person, sometimes too bloody friendly. He finally found out the hard way with me one day. I was down the gallery and he came in with the most beautiful pastel blue dress on with white shoes, white pearls, and a white hat, and white earrings. And he walked over to me and I'm sitting down, I couldn't go anywhere else. And he put his hand out, and I put my hand out to shake his hand, he bent straight over and kissed me on the lips. Well, there was about 
four people standing behind him, and they seen him do it. Well, they, these women just about pissed their pants. They thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen. If I would, honestly, if I would have seen what was coming, he'd have been laying on his back, because I would have knocked him from here to Kingdom fucking come. But anyway, it, it, it wasn't funny at that stage for me, but it was funny for the other people that actually seen it happen. I, I, I really can see the funny side of it. I could a couple of hours later, you know, and I thought, how dumb am I? Uh, I would never, ever, ever put my hand out him again. No way, eh? Anyway, that's just a little thing, you know. It's just sad that people can pass away and not be missed. It wasn't unusual for him to be missed at the Argo because he would stay away for a month. And he'd come, he'd come a couple of days, one week, and then you wouldn't see him for a month. So nobody took, took too much notice of it. Until, the, until they, somebody must have found him. I don't know who, maybe one of his neighbours. But I think if I was living next to somebody who died, I think I'd know all about it pretty quick. I think, I think my nose is better than that. Anyway, I'm home. Peace and love as always. I'll catch you again later. Bye.